So, welcome back, this is Coinpig. This is part two, if you like, of the sealed bags. Now, I already see one in there. Um, basically, the first time for what seems like months. Well, I think it is months, actually. Um, I've got coins in sealed bags. And um, that's quite unusual these days. So, we're going to make it count and uh, spread it over two videos. We've done the first ten. This is the... 15 remaining bags and um, should we get straight into it? Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified and also if you would, if you can, share. That really helps. Right. What can we do in these? We had a decent hunt in the first 10, three Olympics. What can we do in these? Oh, there's the first one. Well, I mean, wasn't that the first find in the last one as well? <laughs> um, Christopher Ironside, 2013. That may or may not have a, a doubling on it again. Oh, there's the one I, that's the one I saw. Mr. Jeremy Fisher in 2017, Beatrix Potter series. I think we found that one in the last one as well. That was the Roger Bannister 4 Minute Mile. Not in the best condition, but uh, one we don't keep. As are the other two that we found already so far. Oh, there's the tail of Peter Rabbit. That was one of the 2017s as well. Is one of the 2017s, I should say. Um, put more together there, I don't know. I don't think it really makes that much difference. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's happened to that one? That's a public library. You can just about make out the design. But I think someone's dipped that in battery acid. Seems to be a common occurrence these days. Don't quite know what the purpose was. To clean it, perhaps? But, well, it hasn't cleaned it, has it, really? <laughs> it's destroyed it. one there's the girl guides or the guiding movement in the UK not by face value Well, the grotty looking people act. Um, we didn't find one, no, we didn't find one in this one yet. Oh, the, the dictionaries. Oh, there's a Paddington. Paddington at the cathedral. 2019 coin. Still don't know the mintage figures. Oops. Um, Another Christopher Ironside. Well, where was all the face? Where's all the above face value coins gone?
Oh. Turned into a hunt too hard, didn't it? We haven't found anything above face value. Oh, finally, we found something above face value. <laughs> There's a Beatrix Potter from 2016. This is the anniversary coin. Found one of those in the last part of the hunt as well, but that's a bit of a relief that we found something above face value in these bags. We're certainly running out of bags all of a sudden. Oh, and a Brexit. <laughs> a Brexit coin. I'll take one of those, even though they're not technically above face value, really. Oh, and a Paddington. Paddington at the tower. So that's one each of those Paddingtons from 2019. Obviously, we don't know the, the mintage figures yet, still, as I keep mentioning. Um, oh, actually, we we're going to put the other one. Might as well put that in the front row there. It's a featured coin, even though it's not technically above face value. Well, we don't know, but probably not. We've only got a couple of bags to go now. So I'm slightly disappointed that we haven't found a single Olympic. Although, we, to be fair, we, don't, we generally only find two or three in most um, in a bag. So the fact that we found them all in the first ten bags is slightly disappointing, really. But still, that one's uh, seen better days. Oh, there's a Victoria Cross, some medals. That's not above face value, but... Uh, We've been lacking finds really in this part of the hunt. Oh, oh, that makes up for it. That makes up for it. Well, almost anyway. It's another 2011 coin, but that's a WWF. A WWF. So, how's that then? Yeah, that is a. A massive find because we don't find many of these to be fair very low mintage definitely above face value and um, yeah I like that one I like it indeed reminds us actually the, I don't know if you you've noticed but a lot of people have mentioned that this one reminds them of the well probably the other way around but the, <laughs> this one reminds them of the 2020 Olympic coin that was never released into circulation obviously the Olympics have been postponed for a year well we hope it's just for a year <laughs> um, but um, yeah that is that is a good find so this is the this, this is the last bag of the sealed bags my hands are filthy just noticed um, so I don't know whether we're going to find another Olympic, unfortunately, but um, we'll see. I don't know what uh, what the overall rate of finds is on this one. It's probably not as good as I would ex have expected, but we've got a couple of really good finds there, actually. So I'm not going to complain too much. I know I get complaints about me complaining too much, even when I'm not complaining, but you know, I'm hoping for more all the time. <laughs> In the last few coins, I think that's it. So, yeah, that looks like it. Well, that was slightly disappointing in the second half. We didn't find a single Olympic in those, um, bearing in mind they came from the same source. But we did make it up by finding a WWF. Not sure if that completely makes up for it, but um, a 2011 WWF is always a nice coin to find. What I'll do, I'll go through those coins, I'll go through the previous lot of coins, we'll do a wrap up of all the finds in the, the sealed bags, if you like, that I've just done. Um, now I'm recording this all in one go, of course. Yeah, I, I decided that we weren't going to do a wrap up on the first half. I think we're going to do a wrap up on the whole bag. Um, and it looks like that was a, probably the best option, really, because we didn't find a great deal in the second, um, given that we had 50% more bags in the second one than we did in the first. Anyway. Let's uh, let's have a look at these coins to see if I've missed anything. There may be an NIFC or something that I've missed, and I'll get back to you with the wrap-up.
If you wanted to have a look at the first part of this hunt, then it's here. The link is in the description. Okay, so I've gone through all the coins just to check to see if there's anything I've missed. And there were a couple. Um, well, top here, I have a couple of these 2017 shields. And this 2008 Britannia. Don't keep the 2008 anymore. Although I'm finding less and less of them at the moment. So that may be the wrong decision in the future. Who knows? I don't think... Um, I don't think they're worth a great deal of money still, anyway. I'll only keep the ones, as I said before, that are in really good condition, which I don't find many of, to be honest, at the moment. This, talking about good condition, by the way, this one here is definitely not in good condition. Um, and we did find that one. It's a 2000. Well, you can just about make out. It's the public libraries. Um, but, uh, yes, not in a good condition at all. Um, I might keep that one just for comparison. If you look at this one here, for instance, that's how it should look. I mean, this is in really good condition for a 20 year old coin, but um, that one definitely isn't. What else did we find? Well, we found all the usual, of course, not all of them, but a lot of the usual. Um, but we did find a couple of uh, interesting finds. We found two Brexit coins, two Beatrix Potter anniversary coins, a couple of the Paddingtons, strangely only a couple, one of each. Hello, this is CoinPig. So today, the Royal Mint released the 2019 Mintage figures for the circulating coins. We found Skull Nut came from 2016, which is above face value. That is not in the best condition, but it's not, uh, not in poor condition. We found a Battle of Britain. But our star finds, really, are the three Olympics. That's the Athletics, sadly, it's it's damaged and it's uh, 2011 or 2011 coin, not 20, uh, 2009 or 2009 coin, which would be worth considerably more, I think. But we also found cycling, which is a fairly common one that I do find fairly often. And I suppose the, the best of the Olympics, although the condition is not good, is the tennis but it's three olympics and i haven't found three olympics in a hunt uh, for a while but i think personally my favorite coin is the wwf 2011 coin it's another 2011 coin but it's not an olympic um again there's some you know, minor circulation damage on it but uh, they often come out quite decent these uh, wwf coins um yeah, it's getting on for 10 years old now, very nearly, anyway. And uh, to be in decent condition is, is a bonus, really. So, that's what we found. Well, that's what I found, anyway. I don't know what you found. Um, let me know, perhaps, in the comments, if you found something interesting. That's uh, the wrap-up, really. Um, it's the first time I've done a whole bag of seal bags for, it seems like months, at least. Um, and um, it was okay. It wasn't the best hunt. I was hoping for a few more uh, Olympics in the second <laughs> lot of bags. Um, but, uh, you know, I can't complain. We had three and a WWF and a few other you know, minor finds as well. Thanks very much for tuning in, though, uh, in the meantime. And uh, we'll be back next time, I suppose, with more coins. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more. Keep collecting.